Hey, this is Christopher. We're going to go through some of the primary uh, trade setups. Uh, we do trade a trend following trade setup as one of the primary setups. We also trade M reversal short, M pattern reversal shorts, and W pattern uh, reversal longs. Some of the components of the new algo system, I have hybrid Renko candle. It's kind of a Renko style of candle that I've first built back in like 06, 2006 or 7. Uh, I'm using the data from the Renko candles that can be adjusted one tick or one pip at a time. So very granular level adjustability. I have that feeding into my drive bars. So my drive bars takes the price data and then gives me a visually efficient way of looking at price uh, at least the patterns of price so I can identify and get in and hit my primary trade setups. Now this is the highest time frame that I ever trade on the NQ or the NAS 100 if you're trading uh, contracts for difference and the FX markets. Um, I have many and including myself when I'm doing like hyper scalping or quick scalping you can be down on a like a 19, 21, 22 tick uh, a, a new bars chart so there's you know a specific reason why I built the system the way I did I want the visual efficiency so traders are focusing on the patterns and not hyper attentive or spending too much time fixating on the actual where's price at what's it doing every tick that's a really really bad uh, way to trade so uh, we're looking for M pattern with a momentum shift to be a seller. We're looking for W, oh, we're getting the indication right there. So at the close of the candlestick, if that candlestick closes, we will get into the trade, then place a stop. And I'll give you more information on all the indicators that you're paying attention to that make up the new algo system. And again, I'm on the highest time frame right now, and we just got the indication that's locked in place. I'm going to go ahead and put in a, a stop. So I'm going to come down and I'm going to put it the closest stop that I would typically use. The highest stop that I would ever use is at the highest, most recent price pivot. So that's my stop for this trade. The market was unable to come up and challenge. Uh, recent resistance that we can see from the big run-up we had uh, back a couple days ago. So we're out of the U.S. session open. We opened right about here, ran up, markets chopped around a bit, but then the market has given us a nice M pattern and a structural shift. So lift, pullback, lift with the equal or lower pivot high, and rollover. So that is the M pattern. Uh, once I see the trade get to about one to one reward to risk, I'll start bleeding out uh, the stop. Now again, I'm on the highest time frame that I ever trade. I'm not scalping right here. I'm going for a position trade. I want to see if this market can run from one area of support or resistance to the other. If I want to go do quick scalping and grabbing 20 and 30 and 40 ticks, uh, there's training, and the training is very extensive, where I get in and show how on lower time frame charts to target these very linear movements of price. So we call those drive bar trades. Those are aggressive trades. And some traders like that stuff. They get in, I show you a certain type of pattern to look for, between the price and the new uh, trend indicator. And when you get those patterns, you jump in, you jump in uh, into the trade with a very tight stop and, and play those out. So that's one style of trading. And I, and I do that on occasion. Sometimes when there's a news release and I'm getting a very linear run of price outside of the news release, I'll go in and scalp some of that action. But, I like to catch the bigger moves, and boy, oh boy, are there big moves in the market these days. I mean, look at that. We had a long here. It ran the entire day and through the overnight session before we finally got a short. So there's 
absolutely magnificent moves uh, taking place in the market right now with this higher volatility. Now the good thing, the new algo system has lots of flexibility. So I can set the new bars so I can see them. In my case, I have them turned off. I don't care where price is. I don't need to see it. I want to see the pattern. Can I see the M pattern? You know, can I see that? When we got the structural shift short, yes, I was able to see that. Uh, do I have a W pattern? Okay, we're getting pretty close to one-to-one. -to -one, so we'll bleed out this risk. Go to break even on the risk. Uh, what I'm looking for, I want to see if market will come down and challenge at all recent support that was built in the overnight session. Uh, the DAX and European markets started trading, uh, had initial selling, lifted a bit and then rallied into the up to the moment of the US session open uh, at 8.30 Globex or Chicago time. So I'm in the trade, it's a free trade. The new trend indicator shifted. I, I was able to get a primary trade set up. This is a M pattern short. So that's one of our primary trade setups. One of our other primary trade setups is a trend following setup like this, where we get lift, we pull back, the new trend indicator maintains its color, its long bias, and then we get a drive bar back in the direction. Uh, those are wondrous trade setups. Uh, I, that's our trend following. That's the two primary trade setups we have. M top with structural shift or momentum shift short, W pattern with structural shift or momentum shift long, and then trend following. We get tons of trend following trades. With all this volatility, there's trend following trades uh, happening all over the place. I don't care what you're trading, you know, oil, gold, uh, the indices, you're trading FX, you know, whatever data you can pump in to the NinjaTrader 8 platform and track, that is a wondrous trade is the trend following. And then days when the market runs, there's entry after entry after entry. And even when it oscillates, uh, in downtrends or uptrends, we usually get lots of uh, really good high probability entries. And the nice thing is these entries, when you get in on a drive bar, your stop is very, very tight. So, and again, everything's relative. If I have X amount of risk, but I'm going for three to four units of reward, that is a very smart way to trade on this particular time frame. If I'm going to dial this down, and, and the nice thing is the new bars are granular. I can go down and adjust this by one tick or one pip. So there's not big gaps between the time frames. So I can go on an instrument and get that instrument very dialed in with the fine granular capability that you have of adjusting the time frame. So I could set my chart at like a 19 tick or a 20 or a 15, whatever the heck you want. I show in the training, which is very extensive, timeframes that I like to use. But, uh, you know, I built that flexibility in so people can really make micro adjust adjustments in their time frame and dial it in. Now, I have some traders that turn off the drive bars. They don't want to see these. They just want to see price exactly where it's at. That's fine. They can see the new bars. They can turn them on. In other words, they can color them up. I just have the color set to transparent. I'm a pattern guy. I don't give a damn about where the price is. I don't want to get hyper fixated on where it is every tick because I found when I, when I trust the indicators and stay in trades longer, I make a lot more money than getting shaken out by every little kickback against the trend or the movement I'm currently in. So anyhow, I've been talking for a long time, went over a fair amount. Components of the new algo system. There is a hybrid squeeze that I use for certain, uh, looking for certain patterns. That's included. You get the new trend indicator. You get the drive bars indicator. And then you get the custom bar type, which is the new bars. It's a kind of a hybrid version of Renko. Uh, but it powers and gives the data to the drive bar so the drive bars plot reading that new bars data. 
So uh, all the colors can be changed. There's a lot of flexibility. Uh, the key is though, my training is very extensive. I get lots of positive feedback on the training that people are like, oh my gosh, I couldn't believe how much training you had and how much you covered and even institutional side uh, training that you covered. So some of the training, I get into how to set up the charts. What are the best time frames for the instruments? And I cover a fairly wide range of instruments. Uh, I get into primary trade setups, secondary trade setups, aggressive trade setups. I get into really, really lower time frame trading where you want to get in with 12 and 15 and, you know, 20 tick stops and go for, you know, 30, 40 ticks, you know, quick, quick, quick type hyper scalping. Uh, also, I get into training on how to properly use a squeeze indicator, especially a hybrid one. And, you know, how that can help you see momentum that's dissipating and start anticipating reversals. Or when you're in runs of price, making sure when the momentum's strong, you don't even think about getting out of that trade. Stay in that thing and ride it. Okay, so we'll stand by. We'll see if we can come down, challenge uh, recent support, and then, uh, you know, work this trade to some sort of conclusion. Remember, at any time you have any questions on the new algo system, just let me know at info at N-E-U-A-L-G-O dot com. I'll be more than happy to uh, answer any questions. Okay, so we'll pause this. We'll see what plays out here, but I have no reason at all to get out of this trade. Red drive bars. So see how I kind of have a pause bar here with its hollow? Drive bars are solid and very linear nature. That means stay in. My new trend indicator is saying stay in. No need to pull off any of this trade yet because this is a position trade. I'm not in here scalping for 10 ticks and, you know, I'm riding this baby to see if I can catch movements from one side of the market uh, to the other, especially out of the more reactivity out of the uh, open of the U.S. cash markets at uh, 9.30 Eastern Time or 8.30 Central Time. Okay, we'll stand by and see what we get here. Okay, uh, uh, I've moved the stop. We're into, uh, we're buying a signal. We had a buying signal where the market held support and lifted. That was a pre-market uh, signal. But I'm going to go ahead right now, and I'm just going to blip a couple of these positions off and change this to one. Uh, the trades run plenty good enough. And uh, for the most part, I'm going to stay in this trade until I get some green bars. And that's really the earliest. As long as I keep getting red bars, even if they're hollow, meaning there's not a lot of momentum in them, I can stay in this trade. The new trend indicate I could literally stay in this trade until I get a momentum shift from downside momentum with upside. It's uncanny how many times lately in this high volatility market, this thing will come up two, three times and keep rolling over and keep going. So I'm way over goal on the first trade of the day. So at this point, I only got one contract left on. Just let it run. Uh, I'm inclined as I see the market to come down to this area uh, of recent support to just unwind unwind any last position if we come down here and call it a day and then be done. So so all in all, whether you're trading MNQs or you're trading the full contract, the key of the new algo system is getting away from fixating on ooh every tick movement of price and oh you know where's price at and where's my stop. Yeah. Trade the patterns and trade stuff that's three to one or greater reward to risk. Get these big moves and then follow the training and learn how to see when the momentum's dissipating so you can grab the biggest chunk of the move, get out and wait for another primary trade setup. And when you get running trends, keep pounding those things as they keep giving you new, you know, trend following type entry points. Keep getting back in and working them on, on hard trending days. Okay, we're getting down here. Let's flip that out. Let's just... Go ahead and close this. That's plenty good. And that was, uh, you know, kind of a one and done uh, trade for the day. So there you have it. If you have any questions on the new algo system, just let me know. 
and I'll be putting out more videos in the week ahead on patterns and setups.